quality costs are those categories of costs that are associated with producing, identifying, avoiding, or repairing products that do not meet requirements. Many manufacturing and service organizations use four categories of quality costs, which are, prevention costs, appraisal costs, internal failure costs, and external failure costs. Some quality authorities feel that these categories define the cost of poor quality. These cost categories are shown in this table. We will now discuss these categories in more detail, starting with prevention costs. Prevention costs are those costs associated with efforts in design and manufacturing that are directed toward the prevention of non-conformance. Broadly speaking, prevention costs are all costs incurred in an effort to make it right the first time. The important subcategories of prevention costs include Number 1 colon Quality planning and engineering Costs associated with the creation of the overall quality plan, the inspection plan, the reliability plan, the data system, and all specialized plans and activities of the quality assurance function, the preparation of manuals and procedures used to communicate the quality plan, and the costs of auditing the system. Number 2. New Products Review Costs of the preparation of bid proposals, the evaluation of new designs from a quality viewpoint, the preparation of tests and experimental programs to evaluate the performance of new products, and other quality activities during the development and pre-production stages of new products or designs. Number 3. Product or Process Design Costs incurred during the design of the product or the selection of the production processes that are intended to improve the overall quality of the product. For example, an organization may decide to make a particular circuit component redundant because this will increase the reliability of the product by increasing the mean time between failures. Alternatively, it may decide to manufacture a component using process A, rather than process B, because process A is capable of producing the product at tighter tolerances, which will result in fewer assembly and manufacturing problems. This may include a vendor's process, so the cost of dealing with other than the lowest bidder may also be a prevention cost. Number 4. Process Control The cost of process control techniques, such as control charts, that monitor the manufacturing process in an effort to reduce variation and build quality into the product. Number 5. Burn-in The cost of pre-shipment operation of the product to prevent early life failures in the field. Number 6. Training, the cost of developing, preparing, implementing, operating, and maintaining formal training programs for quality. And, number 7, quality data acquisition and analysis, the cost of running the quality data system to acquire data on product and process performance, also the cost of analyzing these data to identify problems. It includes the work of summarizing and publishing quality information for management. Now, after prevention costs, we need to discuss about the appraisal costs. Appraisal costs are those costs associated with measuring, evaluating, or auditing products, components, and purchased materials to ensure conformance to the standards that have been imposed. These costs are incurred to determine the condition of the product from a quality viewpoint and ensure that it conforms to specifications. The major subcategories include Number 1 Inspection and test of incoming material, costs associated with the inspection and testing of all material. This subcategory includes receiving inspection and test, inspection, test, and evaluation at the vendor's facility, and a periodic audit of the quality assurance system. This could also include intra plant vendors. Number 2 Product inspection and test, the cost of checking the conformance of the product throughout its various stages of manufacturing including final acceptance testing, packing and shipping checks, and any test done at the customer's facilities prior to turning the product over to the customer. This also includes life testing, environmental testing, and reliability testing. Number 3. Materials and Services Consumed The cost of material and products consumed in a destructive test or devalued by reliability tests. And, number 4. Maintaining accuracy of test equipment, the cost of operating a system that keeps the measuring instruments and equipment in calibration. Now, after discussing about appraisal costs, we shall discuss about the internal failure costs. Internal failure costs are incurred when products, components, 
materials, and services fail to meet quality requirements, and this failure is discovered prior to delivery of the product to the customer. These costs would disappear if there were no defects in the product. The major subcategories of internal failure costs include Number 1, Scrap, the net loss of labor, material, and overhead resulting from defective product that cannot economically be repaired or used. Number 2, Rework, the cost of correcting non-conforming units so that they meet specifications. In some manufacturing operations rework costs include additional operations or steps in the manufacturing process that are created to solve either chronic defects or sporadic defects. Number 3, Retest, the cost of reinspection and retesting of products that have undergone rework or other modifications. Number 4, Failure Analysis, the cost incurred to determine the causes of product failures. Number 5, Downtime, the cost of idle production facilities that results from non-conformance to requirements. The production line may be down because of non-conforming raw materials supplied by a supplier, which went undiscovered in receiving inspection. Number 6, Yield losses, the cost of process yields that are lower than might be attainable by improved controls, for example, soft drink containers that are overfilled because of excessive variability in the filling equipment. And, number 7, downgrading or off spacing, the price differential between the normal selling price and any selling price that might be obtained for a product that does not meet the customer's requirements. Downgrading is a common practice in the textile, apparel goods, and electronics industries. The problem with downgrading is that products sold do not recover the full contribution margin to profit and overhead as do products that conform to the usual specifications. And finally, we will discuss about the external failure costs. External failure costs occur when the product does not perform satisfactorily after it is delivered to the customer. These costs would also disappear if every unit of product conformed to requirements. Subcategories of external failure costs include Number 1, Complaint Adjustment All costs of investigation and adjustment of justified complaints are attributable to the non-conforming product. Number 2, Returned product or material, all costs associated with receipt, handling, and replacement of the non-conforming product or material that is returned from the field. Number 3, Warranty charges, all costs involved in service to customers under warranty contracts. Number 4, Liability costs, costs or awards incurred from product liability litigation. And, number 5, indirect costs, in addition to direct operating costs of external failures, there are a significant number of indirect costs. These are incurred because of customer dissatisfaction with the level of quality of the delivered product. Indirect costs may reflect the customer's attitude toward the company. They include the costs of loss of business reputation, loss of future business, and loss of market share that inevitably results from delivering products and services that do not conform to the customer's expectations regarding fitness for use. Now, in the analysis and use of quality costs, if we ask how large are quality costs? The answer, of course, depends on the type of organization and the success of their quality improvement effort. In some organizations quality costs are 4% or 5% of sales, whereas in others they can be as high as 35% or 40% of sales. Obviously, the cost of quality will be very different for a high-technology computer manufacturer than for a typical service industry, such as a department store or hotel chain. In most organizations, however, quality costs are higher than necessary, and management should make continuing efforts to appraise analyze, and reduce these costs.